here we are with round two of the STK tournament. We will be running groups three, four, and five. So here on the left in the Mustang Mach 1 is the Fields driving for Big Al's custom diecast. This is the first time Big Al's custom diecast has joined us, but hopefully his first driver, the Fields, will get the feel for the track and finish the course and I apologize for that pun. I'm practicing for when I have to tell puns or corny jokes at my work or wherever I go. And then over driving for the super team for their second car in a row we have Road Hot. It's kinda like Hot Rod but backward and a change of words or something. I don't really know what they were thinking but they're driving in the Gas Monkey. This will be an interesting race to watch. Road Hot in the Gas Monkey will start on the inside lane, while the Fields will start on the outside lane. Go! Oh, it looks like the Fields got off to a bad start. He hitched up somewhere. The Gas Monkey holds on to his car. Oh, and he crashes at the line. He does get his tip right past the line. You see it pokes through there. So he does get, actually he doesn't get any points for finishing. He just gets five points for the five turns. Oh, but he he does finish, that's first place. So that will be three extra points. So that small centimeter earns him three extra points and sends him to eight. Let's go check on the Mach 1. Looks like the Mach 1 must have blown an engine while starting, tried to accelerate too fast, and he will earn zero points. Let's hope he pulls it together for the second race. So the Mach 1's team, Big Al's Custom, has looked at their car, they're pretty sure it will run quite smoothly now, and they're very sure that it will completely destroy Road Hot and his gas monkey. And there he goes! Looks like, oh, but Big Al's Customs goes over with the feels, and the gas monkey will win again. He gets eight points twice in a row. That will take him to 16, I'm pretty sure second place on the leaderboard. But the feels just gets a little bit wobbly after turn two, and will only pick up two total points. Road Hot will join his fellow teammate Flames at the top of the leaderboard for the super team. The super team is doing amazing this tournament so far. Here we are with the fifth matchup. We have in the Mustang Fastback, DD driving for Big Al's Custom. Big Al's custom diecast is hoping that they fixed up this car a little bit better than the Mach 1. They're still hopeful for the Mach 1 in round 2, but their hopes and dreams are really pinned on DD and his Mustang Fastback. Now, in the Bone Shaker, we have Sam Hall driving for DRT3K. I mean, I might should have tried and pronounced that, but I decided to just spell it out for you guys. But here we go, let's get to the racing. The Bone Shaker will have the inside lane, DD and Big Al's custom diecast will have the outside lane. Go! Looks like the Bone Shaker is off to a fast start, and the custom Mustang goes over on its roof. The Bone Shaker picks up all nine points possible, which is great for him, and the custom Mustang Fastback again crashes after turn two. Seems like a high crash area right here with its flattening out and then a little hump. It didn't even make it to the hump though. Maybe it's just this turn two that's pretty tricky. The custom Fastback will now have the inside lane. The Bone Shaker will have the outside lane. Oh, and the Fastback is neck and neck, and he pushes the Bone Shaker off the track. And the Fastback is showing he's got what it takes as he picks up 8 points to add to his earlier 2 for a total of 10. He was neck and neck with the Bone Shaker, but he managed to push the Bone Shaker's 2 wheels off and over the edge, so it slowed him down and he couldn't make it through turn 2. He will only pick up 1 point. With that, DD and Sam Hall plays right in the middle of the board. They're a good eight points ahead of the Fields, 
and they're only one point behind Bruno. And this will be the final race of today. On the right, in the McLaurin P1, we have Gabriel driving for RC Races. Gabriel drove in our last tournament, but the team he was driving with, the Fluffy Snakes, did not do very well and did not pay him very well, so he decided to switch over to the RC Races team. Let's see if he can do better in this sleek looking sports car. And then on the left, in the Speed Spider, we have Steve driving for Team Cribbage. Steve participated in our first fantasy tournament, missed the second one, but he's back for revenge in the third. Let's get racing. Both these cars are solidly built, so, accept, so expect some battling on the track. The P1 pulls out in front but flips over the Speed Spider, uses him as a brake and slows down enough to be able to finish the turn. But maybe he slowed down a little bit too much because he couldn't quite make it to town. He'll only pick up 8 points. The McLaurin P1 has ended on this stretch right here. I'm going to have to name this stretch. The stretch of death? I don't know. The stretch of DNFs? But anyway, the McLaurin and Gabriel, who isn't doing too much better for RC races, are down. Steve and his Speed Spider have an 8-2 lead over Gabriel and his McLaurin P1. Let's see how it plays out in race 2. Can Gabriel keep control of the P1 and beat out the Speed Spider? Well, let's find out. Oh, it's neck and neck. McLaurin's trying to pass. The speed, oh my goodness. What happened there? Too fast for my eyes. We're gonna have to look at the replay. But it looks like Steve will be able to inch across the line for another eight points, bringing him to a total of 16. And Gabriel wasn't quite able to beat him, but his total comes to seven. Here, Steve leads Gabriel just by a little bit. Gabriel's looking to make the pass. Can't make it around that turn. And he just stays off the walls. Gabriel stayed off the walls. Steve kind of bumped around. Let Gabriel catch up, but then they get smashed in the funnel. Let's see it one more time. Boom. And just like that, Steve captures eight more points. And Gabriel almost won. With that win, Steve ties for second place at the moment. Just one point behind Flames. Gabriel is at the top of the bottom bracket, so he's not in elimination, but he probably should pick it up for the next round. Thank you for watching Roadrunner Raceway!